Hey everyone, today I want to teach you how to update your existing Docker containers automatically using Watchtower. Watchtower will go out and check to see if there's any updated images to your existing containers, download them, stop your existing containers, update them, and then restart them. And even you can even schedule this if you like. Um, there's a lot of details under the the documentation. Uh, there's various arguments, and I'll be showing you some of these arguments in the commands I run. Um, but it's quite easy. It's uh, and it's it's a great help, honestly. You do want to make sure that your existing containers have a persistent storage volume, though. If they don't, your container will be wiped, and you will lose all your configurations. So make sure that you have your volumes mapped to a persistent storage. Um, so yeah, be warned, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. So what I've done is I've SSH'd into my NAS and I will show you the command I have that I'm going to use to install Watchtower in my Docker environment. And I will show you what it is. So right now it's installing, but so docker run d is the daemon. The name of the container will be Watchtower. This is the volume that is going to be installed for the container. Um, this is the repository where it's downloading the container. This is the cleanup command. So once it's downloaded an image and installed it and, uh, and turned the container back on, it'll clean up any old images that aren't needed anymore. The revive stop switch here will boot back up the uh, containers that it had stopped. And this is the schedule. So this is uh, seconds, this is a cron, like cron syntax for scheduling in Linux. So you have, um, this is seconds, so zero seconds. This is uh, minutes, zero minutes. And this is the hour. So every day at 10 a.m. UTC time. And that's how this is, WatchGuard runs on UTC time by default, which is, I think, uh, I think that's 6 a.m. my time. Um, this is the days of the week. Uh, this is the weeks and this is months. So this says uh, at 10 a.m. every day, every week, every month. Uh, this will trigger. So you can see the container has installed and we're ready to go. Uh, I'll flip over to my NAS uh, where you'll see in container station here on QNAP they have a container station and I could have used this to install Watchtower but I just like doing it through the command line and find it quicker. Um, click on the watchtower container that it built. If I go to logs, it shows that it's installed and it will check for the image updates uh, in 13 hours, 31 minutes, 41 seconds. So that's the time basically I set. And that is basically it. There's a lot more options you can do with watchtower. You can send emails and things like that when uh, notification emails when things are updated and you can find those settings way down here um, in the documentation. So this is a really handy feature too if you're doing this in a production environment. This is my self-hosted play environment, test environment, lab, whatever you want to call it. Um, I might play with this later, see how it goes, but for now I just kind of want my images to update and, and uh, not worry too much about notifications. So you can see here, this is my QNAP NAS. I'm using Container Station. Uh, this is the logs from my Watchtower installation. And from the logs, you can see that it found some containers to update. It stopped the existing containers, created the new containers, and then removed the old images to save space. I hope this helps somebody out there. Um, remember, like and subscribe if it did. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.